Over the course of life, one of the things that you discover as you grow a little bit older is how neat it is the way events blend together and all lead to some objective that you never would have recognized when they were going on. So when you reach that objective, you look back and you think, wow, that's how everything worked. Well, growing up, life was very much like that. Uh, I've told you before, I love my Papa Corbel. He was a great old man and had a lot of wisdom. And he used to tell me, he'd said, son, he said, I, I've been 16, but he said, you ain't ever been 60. And he said, I know about being 16, but when you get 60, you'll understand a little bit more about my perspective. I'm almost there. I'm hitting, headed towards the mid 50s. And Papa, I think you know a whole lot more today than you used to know when I was 16. My old grandpa Corbel was a good old man, worked hard, loved life, loved people. He was really very social and he had a good education. Now for that time, he had, a, had gone to business college for a whole semester and got his mother to mail him his feather bed while he was there. Well, of course, the folks around there recognized Papa as having a little bit of education and his being such a social creature, they all loved him, so they elected him mayor of the local area in which he lived. Now, part of being mayor was is that you had to kind of, you know, get into life and, uh, and uh, don the, the clothes of politics. So he bought him one of those old one-piece jumpsuits, got him a good hat, and began to do a little politicking around town. Well, eventually some of the friends told him he ought to take up golf. Well, he had never heard anything like that, but he bought him a good set of golf clubs. He gave it a whirl. They took him down to a hunting club down St. Augustine and where they had those pheasants that they let the rich people, uh, rich people uh, shoot. And, you know, they kick them and they fly up and the rich folks shoot them. Then when they fly, well, Papa killed one with a golf club. He got him birdie, sure enough, and brought it home. Well, when his golfing was uh, kind of wore out, he put the old golf clubs out in the shed beside the house and forgot about them. One thing leads to another. Papa took me out one day and he said, son, said, I need you and Floyd to come with me. He said, I want to show y'all something. He carried us out behind the house where he had the hogs that he was raising and had a lot of common sense about animals like that. And he put those two hogs in a pen together. And he said, boys, y'all know why you raise two hogs rather than just one? We said, well, no, Papa, we don't know. He said, well, the reason you do that is so that one pig, one hog, will eat it to keep the other one from getting it, and they'll both get fat together. He said, human beings and hogs has got a lot in common. He also told, took us out the barn. There was a sack of feed there, and boy, it had been just tore up by the rats. He said, look at that, boys. He said, rats and people's got a lot in common. He said, rats are kind of like kinfolk. Said they show up and they get what they're not supposed to have. and They tear into it, eat all they can, tote off the rest. And he said, smell that feed. And we smelt it and it was kind of foul. He said, the reason they do that, said what they don't eat, they urinate on so nobody else can get it. Well, Papa, I'm, I'm near mid-50s, and you was right about them relatives. Yeah, they eat what they can, urinate on the rest so nobody else can use it. Well, he told us, he said, boys, these rats got bad in the barn, said, I want y'all to kill them out. Y'all move the hay bales and kill them all. Well, he left, and ain't anything in life any more fun than a rat killing. Floyd and I got out there. We was going to save that hog feed, and we started moving them bales of hay. Rats running everywhere. We had an old cat. We brought him in there, old Tom Cat. He caught all the rats he could catch. We killed rats. We broke every stick we had and went outside, got all of the hoes and shovels and everything else and broke all them killing rats. And we run out of weapons. And uh, we got to looking around and we spied Papa's golf clubs. Now, fellas, I ain't ever been into golf, but I'm going to tell you they ain't a better rat-killing device that has ever been in a golf club. Now, them with that big wood knob on the end, they ain't too hot. They kind of break, but them let that metal end, and you can get you a running start, boogity, 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 whack, and you can catch that rat and send him flying. Man, we kill rats forever. 
Well, when we finally got through, we got to look in them golf clubs, and they was in bad shape. All twisted up, mangled, put them back in the bag, and slipped them out in the shed and hoped Papa wouldn't notice. We took our rats we caught and had a whole barrel of them, and we carried them out and scattered them around the house and on the window sills and all around. Ma found them. She didn't know what happened. We told her, said, well, Ma, last week we put out some of them snake-killed pellets. Guess it must have got them rats. Well, there was a run on them snake skin, uh, snake killing pellets down to the local store. Other people wanted to get rid of their rats, too. Well, life rocked on there about a couple of weeks, and it was hot. And Papa come in one day, and he, I was out there he was sitting on the porch. I sat down beside him. said, how's it going, Papa? He said, well, he said, I don't know. He said, you know, this heat's bad. And he said, I went out there the other day, and Thought I might go golfing, and he said, I got my golf clubs out and said, I guess that heat out there in that shed done, wa done warp them golf clubs all to pieces. Said, I ain't never seen nothing like that, how bad the heat is. Said, when I was a kid, it wasn't as hot as it is now, but man, the world just seems to be getting hotter. Of course, uh, I never told Papa what happened to his golf clubs, and neither did Floyd. Nor did we confess about the rats. We just went on with life. Well, let me tell you the end of this story. Papa's been gathered on to that big rat killing in the sky. Been gone a lot of years. But folks back there look on him as being a visionary man. Yes, sir. He was the first of his time to recognize the coming future impact of global warming when it warped his golf clubs.